wasn't going to record this, but um, if people can watch old Strepnik changing wheel bearings on the trailer, then surely this will be semi interesting. So, got the patrol here. Um, removing the head, already started, got quite a bit off before we decided, may as well record. Got the cams and injectors and stuff out, um, and the chain off. Now, gasket kit, and here is the new head. Assuming that that head is cracked, more than likely. Um, we've got a brand new head here. It comes with the cams and everything, so it should be fairly straightforward. Um, it looks like a lot of people dread doing this job, but it doesn't actually seem that bad so far. Um, seems pretty straightforward. People seem to have a bit of trouble timing them back up, but I can't see it being a big problem. I've definitely done worse. So, yeah, if you're interested, here's a bit of diesel content. Um, just trying to get the exhaust off. We're going to try to lift the head off with the intake and exhaust manifold. Just trying to get the downpipe off its... Um, a bit niggly since it's an aftermarket system. But yeah, trying to work on this thing. Here's me six foot, and I can't even get in the engine bay. So that's why we've been standing inside. But I had an idea, we might let the tires right down, so it gives us about six inch less height. But yeah, you can see here, got the chain off. Um, apparently you can do it without taking this other front cover off, so we're gonna give it a crack. Might be a bit hard, you know, maneuvering the head up past it, but we'll try and then if we have to, we'll just remove it. No big deal. Yeah, shouldn't be too far away now from trying to lift the head up. Oh, this water pump's naggy too, eh? Yeah. Might need to get a new one too. They're quite expensive though, eh? Like, yeah, it looks like a pretty big unit. <laughs> yeah. So these are quite interesting. It's got a chain that goes to the cam and then the rest is all gear driven, so you've got a gear there for the injector pump, which goes down to the crank gear. So yeah, I think there's like three or four gears. And also I thought these injectors were quite interesting. So yeah, there's a the chain, took the guides off. Gotta say this bull bar here makes for a pretty good parts tray. Storing everything here. Doesn't look like we got much uh, movement from unbolting the downpipe from the turbo, so I'll go under here. And try undo it from this um, slip join here. See, it's a complete three inch system, so hopefully, I can take this off and slide it out. Right, so just removing the EGR here because it was in the way. I've just been under here removing the exhaust pain in the ass. Everything's bloody seized. Exhaust nuts are always so shit. Can't be far away now though. There's my blanking plate. So I disconnected the EGR but left the pipe just dangling on the rear with the head there. Ooh, I don't think it's gonna go. Will I be able to get it? Um it kind of needs that bracket taken off. Where's that? Block. Oh. One bolt. Decided to take the bonnet off so we can actually get some proper lighting and get in here. So I think we're about ready. Now we can actually sit on the side like Josh is now and try to lift it off. Um, here, I'm gonna have to leap up in here. Yeah. Here. Cheers. Let's see how we do. I don't know about this. She's a squirter. <laughs> oh my god. Do you under, undo the um, big end bearing caps? Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, bottom ends already up. Alright. What? So I've been okay. saying, I've been fucking sleeping these fellas. Oh. Have you undone the biggies? Oh, what the fuck? That's not that ball. <laughs> 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 it feels like something's stuck on, on, this, on this side almost. The front's lifting up easy. It's like a hose. Turbo lines? Oh, yeah, be it. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. 
Just pull it off. Uh, 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 I tell you what, if Josh slips, he's gonna end up in the woods. <laughs> Send myself to sleep. He's gonna be sleeping on the deck over there. Oh, here we go, here we go. Try and like hoist it this way. <laughs> <laughs> something at the back stuck. Yeah. There's something still connected, I'm sure. Oh, no. Oh. Head drain. Mm. Head drain? Yep. Uh, after my. Oh, it's. Listen, it's... Head drain. Franklin It's like an RB. And Classic. Shit. Get it from the bottom. Oh. What? What now? The drain doesn't even fucking come out after nah, that. Nah. 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 Something there. Oh, just hoist it. Hunt. It's not coming. Fuck! It's on your side too, I think. Yeah. I don't know if it's it. Here, give me a look. You lift up. Unreal. See, what? That hose was connected to the head, so I undone the bolt. Because it's metal. It's a long reach when you're down there when this thing's 20 feet up in the air. Fuck! So, what's happened? These two bolts at the back? It's actually a head drain. It's like no shit. Right at the back of the head, like. See, they put it on this when it doesn't probably need it, but they don't put it on the RBs. Well, they literally listen to the RBs. It's literally what the RB needs. Mm. After this, fuck, there we no more sleeping. Oh, what? Zooming in on my. Ah. Who are you tuning? Nah, no one. Oh. Just sorting out a dive. Oh. A dive? What's oh, happening? Nah, nah. I gotta work tomorrow. Nah, those are coming off, brother. Hit from the bottom. Nah. Oh, and the other option is the hose itself, but I don't know if there's like a. I think it, it depends where the old camp is. Oh, I think it hooks it down. Oh, 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 that frickin' pipe, isn't it? Oh, oh, it's just wrapped around there. Oh. Take it, take it, take it. Just lay it down there. Oh, you're gonna fucking lose it. Fuck, take this, dude. Hunt! Just lay it on the bully. No, 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 no. Put it on the bully. Oh, God! Fuck. It's not that heavy. Oh, the box cracked. <laughs> Look. Oh. Bring the torch. That is one blowing hit the ass I've ever seen. I think it's stuck to the bottom of the key. Oh. See anything? Nah. Give me a look. Here. Torch. Here. In between the glow plugs. Crack. Your Oi. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cracks. Look. Yeah, that's the head gasket, not the fucking head. The head's mint, I'll tell you that where's right the, now. Where's the brake cleaning? Put all, we'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you what right Send now. your head back, mate. Cracks? No, no cracks. Yeah, there's gonna be so, so shit to put back on. <laughs> it's actually worse than the S15, I'll tell you that right now. When we did that S15 head gasket, boy. That was no problem. Yeah. No, it was just getting it caught, catching on the firewall, remember? The hardest one I've ever done was that. That was the cream. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, diggers yeah, are where it's at. Diggers, right now. easy. Waffle. N E cracks. No cracks. Oh, You're yeah. sleeping. This head's mint. <laughs> Too late now, I've already bought it. So where was it blown? Between yeah. two and three. No, they all like that. Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. It's made like that. Yeah. No, it only push cooling out on boost. Oh, can't. That's not even, that's the turbo line. 
that's leaking past and going into the sump and pushing it up. No. Salty crew. What do you see? Five eights of five four, I reckon. Wow. Five eights would be nice. Slap his head on trade me and give it a skim up and sell it. Yeah. Back here again doing the patrol head. Um, it got way too hot yesterday, so we had to take a break and go for a swim. So I bought this fan here like last summer and as big as it is and how much it hisses It does whack all. It's just too hot here. Having only one door The heat just gets trapped in here and there's, there's nothing you can do about it. And we just like die in here We just can't work in here. We can work for a few hours in the morning and even that is terrible And then that's it But I'm gonna quickly try to crank this out while it's Kinda cold in the morning, it's not cold, it's still hot. Sweating already at like 9 a.m. But got the new head gasket on now. Um, just putting all the gaskets on and the new head is ready. It's taking the manifolds off the old one. And the only dumb thing is we're gonna have to take the cams out again because the head bolts are under the cams. There's the new cam caps. And yeah, we'll plonk it on and Reverse procedure pretty straightforward. Honestly, we just need a new shed, but there's just nothing around Gisborne or it's well out of our price range There's no good things about this shed. It's too hot. Can't make noise Too small too cluttered We just can't win and that's the main reason why there's not much content and we can't do much because after work and stuff We're not allowed to make noise, so we can't win. It's just shit that there's nothing available like um, other places like Auckland and stuff where or you see an American um, YouTubers videos where they just got sheds like or workshops all in a line and they all just rent it out. That's one thing we do not have here. Well, there you go, the new head is on. What a mission, you can see we're bloody sweating. So there's this um, head drain pipe at the back here. Such a pain to get past everything, but we got there. At the same time, trying not to damage this um, front cover gasket. Holy shit. That was a mission. Standing in the engine bay here. So now it's a matter of talking it all up because um, this has silicon on it, this gasket, to stop it leaking. It's very common for these front um, cover gaskets to leak. Same on SRs and all Nissans that are timing chains. Um, so there's a bit of a trick to it. You're supposed to talk the head and this front cover in a sequence. Otherwise if you talk one and then talk the front cover after or something, um, it'll have leaks. The shed's no good. This is bad. <laughs> We're going for a swim straight off of this. This is terrible. What? Here's my arm. You Jeffers don't know about heat until you come to Gisborne. Holy. Days here are like average 30 degrees. And in the shed, it's like 40 plus. Easy. So, new head bolts here. Assuming these uh, head bolts are torque to yield, so replacing them. Uh, I'm just going to put a bit of lube on them and I'll pop them all in. How many are there? Like. 16, 18, 18. 18. Got the torque wrench of all torque wrenches. <laughs> the old snap on. This thing's an animal. Electric, just chuck the batteries in. Because uh, there's a sequence, um, it goes to 40 newton meters. Or was it new foot pounds? Newton meters. Yeah, it's like torque to 40 newton meters to start with, or something like that. And then once the head's down, then you loosen them all and then you torque the front ones. And then, you, yeah, so then you do the front cover once the head's pulled down. Loosen them off, and then a 90 degree yeah, then it's turn. Fork it again, then loosen them, and then it's a 90 degree fork turn or something like that. I need to reread the manual, but yeah, this fork wrench is mean because when you, it, it's, a, it's got an angle finder built into it, so it'll light up this like red, green, orange sort of thing, and then it'll beep once you hit 90 degrees. So 
this makes this job super easy. This forklift. Shout out to Bryce Simpson. Yes, my man Bryce. Because we couldn't afford one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, how common these engines are. There's not actually a lot on the internet for them. So we've been kind of just figuring stuff out as we go. First time doing one of these. First time doing a Nissan diesel, in fact. No, we're not drinking again. This is engine oil that we're going to be using for the head bolts. Two flash. So Josh is upset. The skylight is beaming down some serious heat. What are you doing? No, 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 no. So the Camerons are in. You can see here, you got letters A, B. And on this one, uh, there's a C that lines up. So, everyone going on about the timing's hard to do on these. It's very, very simple. I don't know how you can stuff it up. And what we're saying, yes, we were able to do it with the front cover still on, so that was a bonus. Yeah. It was a bit niggly, but it was doable. This information's gonna help some people because oh, yeah. there's no <laughs> videos. It's like I found there's... one video and it was like of some Indian fellas having a crack at it and I could barely understand the maze, so. Yeah, there's not much out there. And from the comments from the last video, it sounds like a lot of people are doing heads and head gaskets on these ZD30s. It's definitely a common thing, so this isn't like a guide, but I hope a little bit may be able to help you guys. Oh, is that the new merch? That is the new merch. Oh. Time's running out. Do you reckon people are sleeping on it? They are. So? They're going to end up in the woods. Last days to get your merch. Don't sleep on it. Your cap. Your camera. Cameron. Cameron cap. Thank you. Ah, I think that it's going to be a, probably our last merch drop ever, eh? Yeah. It's just too much admin. Chains back on. Tension is back on, chain guide's back on, all timed up. It's knocky, too hot, way too hot. We're out, it's Manu o'clock and Smoko. Show us a cray. Oh, good size. So we've come to pick up Edu and Koro because Edu obviously can't drive. What are these tails? Oh fuck, he's on the soil. Fuck. And we're going for a swim because it's outrageously no. hot. What do you mean no? You've got no towel. Oh well. Oh, brother Raz the alcohol will dry you off. <laughs> Raz beaming today, he'll dry you. Going back to the last um, video, and the cupboard on the having two drinks and driving is not drink driving. It only had two drinks. That's like going out for lunch and having a brew and then driving home. It's no big deal. People were making out like he had had a box and gone for a spin in the 400 horsepower car. No. Right, we're kidding up for a swim. And we're gonna go down at the beach here. We're gonna go to that point over there where that guy is and do some fat manus. Okay, I was gonna wait till um, this was all finished and up and running just to show it was complete, but I wanna get this video up. So uh, Josh is just doing the finishing touches, putting the exhaust on and stuff, but yeah, it's basically done. Pretty simple job. The only annoying part was um, lifting the head off and putting it back on. But yeah, I guess we didn't actually um, say, but the head gasket was in fact stuffed, and surprisingly the head wasn't cracked as we were expecting, so I guess that head's mint. But from what a lot of people had been saying is if you just do the head gasket and don't replace the head, it bites you in the ass um, shortly down the track anyway, so I guess it was a good thing it's done. Shouldn't have any issues now. In the next video, I might do a bit of an update on the Evo and go get some footage on it. It's um, actually almost ready to go. And I didn't even realize I hadn't even explained anything about it, what was going on, so I suppose I should probably do that. But uh, new merch, um, last few days, that's why I want to get this video up. Don't say we didn't warn you. Um, get your pre-orders in, link in description, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.